All right, hey guys, welcome in. We are doing cool gray Jordan 11s. I'm super excited about these. Of course, I had to break out my old school mini version of these. These used to be my sons, but now they no longer fit them. But they are still easily one of my favorites. So we are going to draw kind of a cool version of these cool grays. So I'm going to start with that back shape. This one has a little bit of a curve to it. So it kind of has that line. I usually start out with kind of an L shape. But this one, Jordan 11s are a little bit different. So I kind of have a curve. And then this one kind of bumps up and then bumps out again to kind of get that shape. Front of this, it almost has kind of two bumps. So kind of one in the front and then one here. And those kind of meet. And then this one on the back is a little bit thinner. So I'm always kind of trying to play with those little proportions to get it to fit just right. That's why really, really lightly just to get the overall shape. So it kind of curves on that toe box area and then goes right up quick on here. And then from that spot, it kind of dips down over here. So that's the basic shape. So I'll outline that real quick. All right, cool. Definitely feel a little bit more confident about it, and I like that it's got a the shape that I'm looking for with that kind of bump on one and then two in the front as it goes around. I like the shape so far. So I got that bottom part. Now it's kind of got these next little midsole parts that, again, kind of have that pattern continued around and around the patent leather and on the midsole. Goes down a little bit, and then up, and then back down. And then reaches back up and then goes down again. This one's a little bit lower. And then this one, this one pops up a little bit sharper. And that one angles all the way towards the front of the shoe. Then bring back around, because that has kind of a little bit of a front piece to it that curves over here. And that starts to be that almost midsole part that once you get that shape it definitely starts to look more like that jordan 11 kind of comes down and then up and then goes down shoots almost like right towards the bottom part of it and then bumps back up here goes really really thin again and then follows all the way around here and then mirrors back kind of up here and that's that translucent clear icy soles on the bottom that you've seen in many other of those jordan styles with the 11. um let's do the patent leather part of it now this kind of almost shapes kind of as it curves up it kind of mirrors and goes the opposite way for here up a little bit and then down and kind of rides that roller coaster goes up and then down follows kind of this slope a little bit and then jets back up right across that kind of toe box area and then has a little bit of a curve and i think once you have that overall shape it definitely starts to look like a jordan 11 once you get that on there and the next part that i usually do is right from that patent leather kind of about in that first dip down as it kind of starts to go down i kind of start to bring this up and that kind of curves over here and that's where that little jump man figure will kind of find himself over here we'll work on that in a little bit but then you got your kind of stripes that kind of go right almost towards the lace eyelets depending on what size you're doing this one only has four on here but i think the adult ones have six you can decide how many that you want to do on there so let me go through that real quick All right, we got that looking good. Now it kind of gets a little weird up by the laces part, but you really want those kind of little eyelets. That are at the top, but you really only see the top part of it. So there's kind of like a bump for the shoelace and then the eyelet. Bump for the shoelace and then the little eyelet. So I'm going to start off with those little eyelets, kind of going out and then rounding on the top all the way up here. Don't have, doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying your best. Kind of get those to all fit in here. At this top part on here, obviously tongue will come around and then jet right down to 
kind of fill those lace holes. And just by adding that tongue, it kind of starts to make it look a little bit more realistic, like your foot could go in there. So then for the shoelaces, I just add kind of a little line, kind of a curved or like a rope line. And then this one goes up and then down, up and then down for another one, and then up and then down. And trying to get just the hint of kind of some laces kind of tucked in each side of here that helps it make it look a little bit more authentic. One of the last little things is this little bump in the back to where a kind of pull tab on the back of that. Some of these little ones have for kids a little loop on the back, but usually it has like this little fuzzy piece that kind of connects on this side. So I'm gonna add that piece to make it look a little bit more authentic. Okay, looks pretty good, except for my little Jordan symbol on the back. I have a little trick to doing Jordan symbols. I kind of do almost like the bottom of an X, almost like a stick person. <laughs> I start him out kind of like a little stick figure with the, his legs, one going this way, one going this way, kind of his stick torso or body, and then that arm kind of shooting right up towards this gap up here to get that ball in there, and then his other one going the opposite with his kind of hands, uh, one foot will go back, one will go up a little bit, and then that ball at the top to kind of match his ball for his head. And then I just start kind of a little bit thicker as I go. But I'm going to go over this with Sharpie just so it pops out a little bit, and then I'll start thinking about what I'm going to do for my coloring. Let's go through that real quick. Okay, so there it is. Now it's kind of like my coloring sheet that I can do it whatever color I want. I'm gonna try to do as authentic as I can to the cool grays, um, but I got a lot of grays. I always usually do my little test practice sheet over here to kind of see the differences. Like this is just pencil, this is colored pencil. I got a couple different crayons, marker with gray. And then I'm trying to get that blue, which these are not blue or icy soles anymore. So I got a couple different blues in there. Let's try this, a little bit of magic on here. See if I can shake it just right so it's done. There we go, look at that. There it is on a frame now. We got it all framed up and awesome. I am super excited with how it turned out. I really like the cool gray. Cool gray was always one of my favorite colorways that I hope to get someday. So thank you for viewing. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel. We'll talk to you guys later.